Now, in case of triple bonds, suppose we have C2H2, which is ethyne. Now, if we have only one molecule of ethyne and we add nickel catalyst and only one molecule of hydrogen, what will happen? See, in this triple bond, the triple bond is also easy to break, like the double bond. So, this hydrogen will break one of the bonds of the triple bond and then it will form two bonds remain and it will add like this and what is this compound ethene now this hydrogen can again add to this double bond in ethene. But we have taken only one molecule of ethyne and one molecule of or maybe not one molecule of ethyne, several molecules of ethyne, but one molecule of hydrogen. So this one molecule of hydrogen is already added to make this ethene. So this hydrogen, there is no longer any hydrogen. The one molecule which we had is already exhausted. So, there is no hydrogen to add to this. Now, suppose we have two molecules of hydrogen. We have these two molecules of hydrogen. So, in this reaction, one molecule is consumed and one molecule still remains. So, that remaining molecule can also add to this double bond. And thus, wait, this double bond will contain only two hydro, four hydrogens. Sorry. And this remaining, it will become ethane. Nickel is already there. Nickel has the nickel does not get consumed, so it can act, act as a catalyst to both the reactions. So basically, if you have lack of hydrogen, then ethane will form only ethene. But if you have excess of hydrogen, then this ethene will go to form ethane. Now we have been talking about molecules and molecules are actually proportionate to moles. So, we cannot practically have one molecule of hydrogen reacting. So, we say one mole of react, uh, hydrogen is reacting with one mole or, or any, any number of moles of ethyne. So, if you have one mole of hydrogen, then this ethyne will form only ethene. But if you have two moles of hydrogen, then one mole will be consumed in this reaction and one mole will be consumed in this reaction. So basically, if you are given something like um, CH3, CA triple bond, CH. This is what? Propyne. This H are like spreaded over here, three bonds. And you say, suppose this is one mole. And we have one 
मोर हाइड्रोजन एंड द प्रोडक्ट इज एक्स सो वॉट इज एक्स यू आर आस्ट टू फाइंड एक्स सो वी हैव ओनली वन मोर एंड this one mole will react only once with this compound because it can add only once so this will break the triple bond and add on this so since this one mole is exhausted over here there will be no further reaction and but if you have two moles or maybe more than two moles if they give you four moles also then you will have a further reaction which is conversion of this alkene to break this double bond add two hydrogens and the remaining hydrogens which we have so this propyne will become propene and this will become propane so if you say if you have more than two moles of hydrogen then it will change to propane it will propane cannot undergo any further reaction with hydrogen because single bonds cannot be broken so basically it will consume one mole in this it will consume one mole in this so two moles are consumed and the remaining 4 minus 2 that is two moles are left unreacted sometimes they also use the words excess and lack so whenever you encounter this word lack of hydrogen or they might not say lack of hydrogen they might just say one mole hydrogen you don't generally use lack of hydrogen but if they say excess hydrogen it always means that it is more than two moles and more than two moles means you have to convert this alkyne to its corresponding alkane so the simple thing the generalized thing in addition reaction is that alkyne will react with this nickel and hydrogen to produce the corresponding alkene which will react with nickel and hydrogen to produce the corresponding alkene this is the gist of addition reaction